As the population is on the rise in Murfreesboro, public safety departments are forced to keep up. A brand new fire station opened to help serve the community. And News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen takes us on a tour of Station 4. A decade ago, you didn't see cranes and high rises in Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro is booming. We have a lot of apartments that are multi stories now. This 100 foot ladder truck will help us with any emergency we have, especially fires. Along with a new fire truck, Fire Station 4 now has a new home on Medical Center Parkway. We were on the west uh, side of the city, which if we had to go across the city for whatever reason, that's it's just a long response time. Captain Gary Hutchinson says they built an access road to the Stones River for the Swift Water Rescue Team. Since Station 4 has been open, we've responded twice to the Greenway. Both times was uh, or water rescues and I believe a couple medical calls. This is the first two story fire station in the city of Murfreesboro. To help with response times, they even have a slide to get them down low. It helps reduce injuries too. Uh, traditionally, uh, two story stations have uh, would have poles in it, slides so the uh, firemen can get down and get them to the apparatus quicker, but they were having uh, more injuries with ankle injuries, leg injuries, things like that over the years. Okay, so this is our historical education center. Chief Jamie Bigelow says this location provides a centralized storage area for the new 100 foot ladder truck. Being the biggest truck in our city, we can get it to the high rises at I-24 and easily reach downtown Murfreesboro. Fortunately, there's still room to grow in this space. So we also have a police precinct in the building where they can come and do some reports or when they patrol on the Greenway, they can get on their Polaris and, and get down there quickly also. Their goal is to make sure citizens are safer than they were before. Always here for the public. In Murfreesboro, Alexandra Cohen, New Channel 5. The fire hall also has an education room where firefighters can teach kids about fire safety, and it also has a refurbished 1892 steam engine inside.